Hello and welcome to this blog post. I'm narrator Rebecca McKernan and today I'll be sharing with you the first in a brand new series from author Martin Schiller. Uh, the series is Our Man Adelaide um, and the author, well, those of you who know Martin's work will know that what he does really well is create fantastic colourful characters, um, incredible incredibly interwoven detailed plot lines and just the most insane amount of historical research and our man Adelaide is true to form <laughs> there are no surprises here um if this is the kind of writing that you like sort of high fiction high concept fiction then I recommend that you check out Martin's previous work as well as this series um but focusing on our man Adelaide what we're looking at here is a sort of um, homage to the Avengers, uh, to sort of classic British, uh, not detective, what am I trying to say, sort of, imagine a sort of female James Bond, <laughs> um, but a bit more sort of the Avengers really. Let me read to you the description on the back of the book, and excuse me as I look at my computer screen to read this, I can't see what my face is doing, so so this is the summary for Our Man Adelaide Book One, The Faceless Man. It is the year 1912. The Titanic is preparing for her maiden voyage, and England and Germany are locked in an arms race. Although Europe is at peace, spies on both sides are gathering intelligence in preparation for war. In the midst of this increasingly volatile situation, Sir Thomas Blackthorne and Miss Adelaide de Marcy of His Majesty's Secret Service Bureau are tasked with investigating the death of a member of Parliament. In the end, it will take all of Sir Thomas's talent as a psychic and Adelaide's skill as a ninja to unravel the truth and survive. Not female James Bond, that was completely wrong. Female Sherlock Holmes is what I meant to say. It came to me as I was reading. Um, I'm going to read to you the first couple of pages from the prologue. Um, so this is the first few pages of the prologue of Martin Schiller's Our Man Adelaide, The Faceless Man. This is book one. Prologue. Mendocino County, California, United States, 6th June, 1973. The house at the end of Sea Pines Drive struck Georgina as the very essence of turn-of-the-century gentility, but it also embodied the desire of its owner for peace and privacy. Sighted well away from the Pacific Coast Highway and attainable only by means of a long gravel drive, it was a self-contained world, neat, orderly, and wholly uninterested in anything beyond its protective screen of trees. Visitors did not come to it without invitation, and when they were welcome, such as she was, its stately presence made it plain that its aura of serenity and seclusion was not to be disturbed. Leaving her rental car, Georgina walked up to the front door, but it opened before she could knock. Although the woman who greeted her was in her eighties, her eyes were bright, <clears throat> excuse me, and she carried herself with all the vigour of someone half her age. Are you Dame Adelaide Annabel de Marcy? Georgina asked. I am, the older woman replied, although my investiture was kept a secret, and I only wore my medal for five minutes before I was required to return it. And you, I take it, are the biographer from the consulate? Yes, ma'am, Georgina answered, producing her identification card. Adelaide took it from her and, ex and inspected it carefully, before she nodded to herself in satisfaction. You are, of course, well aware of the Official Secrets Act, Miss Harrington. I am, Georgina replied. Everything that we discuss today will remain confidential, and the only ears that will ever hear it will be the trainees at Fort Moncton. At this, the old woman opened the door wide. Very well, you may come in then. Would you like some tea? I just put a pot on. Georgina smiled. Yes, I would at that. I should imagine that you are quite thirsty, Adelaide said, as she led her into the living room. What is it, some three hours from San Francisco? Or did you fly in and rent a car? I drove, Georgina told her. Austerity measures, you know. The consulate could only afford to have me come by car. But at least the journey was scenic enough. It really is quite lovely here. And quiet, Adelaide added. Not to mention the fact that this location makes it very easy for me to detect the approach of strangers. Even at my old age, one cannot forego the lessons learned from a lifetime of caution. No, Georgina agreed. It is always important to retain good work habits. 
Dame Adelaide beamed. I can see that we shall get along famously. Now let me see to our tea. It was then that Georgina observed the pistol tucked into the pocket of Dame Adelaide's housecoat. From the grip, she identified it as a World War Two era Walter PPK. Sorry, Walter PPK. Old, certainly, but like her host, still quite deadly. As she sat herself on the couch and waited, Georgina surveyed the room and its decorations, and it was the contents of the wall across from her that immediately commanded her attention. I'm going to stop there. But from that sample, you can get an idea of Martin Schiller's writing. If you haven't ever read or listened to his work before, he creates really detailed, descriptive worlds that are quite easy to sink yourself into. So if you fancy yourself a good, I keep wanting to say spy drama, but it's not that at all, uh, a good sort of Avengers style romp, check out the first book in his Our Man Adelaide series. He's amazing at writing very strong characters and my heart still are very strong female characters. <clears throat> Good and bad. Um, so you can check out Armin Adelaide, The Faceless Man, on Audible, Amazon, and iTunes. Um, and you can check out my work there as well, the rest of my work. And you can also find me online at RebeccaMcKernan.com and on Twitter at Becca Tells Tales, various ramblings, and no longer on Facebook. Um, not because I was intentionally boycotting it, but they deleted my page, so I haven't set a new one up. Anyway, thank you for listening and I shall see you tomorrow with the next instalment of Martin's new series. Thank you. Bye bye. Mwah.